Apex Legends solo modes. Yeah! <laughs> That's totally the wrong kind of solo. Ugh. Hey everyone, Thor and Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about the events in Season 17. We know that next week we are getting the brand new threat level event, which is just actually more of a store thing going on. But with that, we are also getting a dress to kill event, and we're going to go over what to expect with that and what it means for solos mode returning. We're also going to give out 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and we'll announce a winner in tomorrow's video. Without further ado, let's talk about Season 17. So we're about done with our first week of Season 17 in Apex Legends, but don't worry, next week we are actually getting our first event of the season, and it is going to be called Threat Level. Now, Senos on Twitter did let us know that this is not a collection event, this is a store event, and that makes a lot of sense because when we look at some of the skins right here, you can tell that these are all recolors and not actually new content. Along with that, there isn't going to be a brand new LTM coming in for this. It's going to have Control TDM or Gun Run, which the community had a chance to vote on, and it's just going to get a dedicated playlist, so don't expect too much new content in the way of that either. Along with that, there will be badges that you can get, such as 250 points, 50k damage, 100 kills, or 5k health restored, and it will allow you to earn all the other badges. I don't think that this event will be any anything too crazy but i do have new information that there will be another event in june and this one is actually going to be called dress to kill and there is a loba skin with that same name along with that it does kind of have like a james bond kind of theme to it so out of the two other events that we know are coming this season op neon and op hitman i would be more inclined to think that this is going to be with the op hitman which should have legendaries for newcastle crypto horizon loba revenant and maggie and these will be brand new custom skins and this is an example of the mad maggie sketch from the legendary that we saw in a leak in season 16 and this is going to be the first full-blown collection event which means that we should also be hopefully getting the horizon heirloom as we have seen the animations here i know a lot of people are very curious about what it's going to be as it is a two-handed weapon but i think we're going to find out very soon so keep your ears to the ground for that so with this new ltm dress to kill we are going to be getting a brand new game mode called rumble and the great thing about this is it is a 60 player free for all mode where the last one standing wins we are finally getting solos mode back in some capacity after respawn said that they would not bring it back and it wasn't successful however they have made a lot of changes such as the fact that legends will have no abilities whatsoever Ever. Instead, you'll find various consumables that grant you temporary buffs, debuffs, or effects. Some examples of the consumables were stem, which increases your movement speed and health regeneration, but also increases your damage and lowers your vision. You get a cloak that makes you invisible for a short duration, but also silences your weapons and footsteps, very similar to Mirage. But let's be honest, there's already no audio, so the footsteps isn't a huge thing. The EMP, which disables the electronics and shields of nearby enemies, but also damages yourself and alerts them of your location. Berserk, which increases your melee damage and knockback, but also reduces your weapon accuracy and range. And lastly, swap which allows you to swap your position and load out with a random enemy, but also alerts them of your swap. So it's at least a unique and interesting take on the solos concept of Apex Legends, making it truly about your skill and what you can find in the game rather than your Legends abilities. Wraith mains are probably going to be enjoying this a lot as they have the smallest hitbox in the game. Nextly, there will be no loadouts. This is actually kind of crazy. Instead, you're basically going to spawn with a random weapon and attachment, and you can only swap weapons and attachments with enemies you have killed. You can also find and use various modifiers that change the properties of your weapons. Some example of these modifiers are ricochet where your bullets bounce off walls and surfaces increasing their range and damage but also making them unpredictable you have explosive your bullets explode on impact dealing splash damage and knockback but also consuming more ammo and reducing your fire rate disruptor your bullets deal increased damage to shields but reduce damage to health the fire rounds where your bullets set enemies on fires dealing damage over time and spreading to nearby enemies but also overheating your weapon and reducing your accuracy kind of like ballistics tactical and then of course smart bullet where your bullets lock on enemies increasing your hit rate and critical chance but also making your weapon louder and slower to reload also something that is very similar to ballistics tactical of course there are no rules in this new game mode or at least that's what they say where anything can happen the map the ring the loot the anomalies the wildlife and the consumables are all randomized and shuffled each match creating a unique and chaotic experience every time you never know what to expect so be ready for anything which makes me believe that this is going to be on storm point because they did very specifically mention wildlife so this will be at the midpoint of the season when they bring that into rotation and it will probably come with that watson town takeover along with the rampart one at amp station that we've also been waiting for for so very long but overall i'm just happy that they're finally bringing in a new type of game mode like this that a lot of people I think will enjoy. Let me know down below, are you excited for season 17 with their events and what do you hope that the Horizon Heirloom will be? Don't forget to check out the second channel right here done by my editor Novell, where he goes over a bunch of his own type of Apex content and I think you guys will very much enjoy. And until next time Legends, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.